king of my. I was in. The, I was in the heyday of my heyday. What I'm, year is it? It's eighty three. I'm tw- I'm twenty years old. I'm living in D twelve, the bottom of the something apartments. D is the fourth building. Uh-huh. It's my friend, me and Jimmy Burkle, and I'm not making a bad living. I'm not doing the. I'm not living the life of Riley, but I got a job. I'm taking classes at night, and I got my eyes open. And that's the type of town that you just have your eyes open. Yeah, you're gonna pick up a thousand dollars a week by mistake because nobody's paying attention. Right. So you'll pick up a purse. <clears throat> you'll pick up a wallet. You'll pick a car. I mean, it was fucking crazy. I cannot describe it. But you know, I, at that time, I was living twenty four seven which means nobody got a break. When I was 19, when I left Jersey the first mm-hmm. time, nobody got a break. What do you mean nobody got nobody a break? Nobody got a break, okay. So I get up in the morning, I probably got 30 bucks on me, I got two fives, 10 singles, and a 10. All right, I would hitchhike down the hill. If I could hitchhike to work, I would hitchhike to work. If not, I'd take the bus, but guess what? I wasn't paying the bus. I was going to get it on the back and fucking walk off on the back. Right. And then I would get to work, and I'd work at I'd work for eight hours at work, and you and Lee brought lunches. I'd take Lee's sandwich <laughs> and your soda. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was just a fucking miserable fuck until I didn't give a fuck because I knew I was going to keep this job, so I'm just eating that fucking sandwich. Sometimes I'd throw it away. One guy took... One time, I, when He's I taking first taking your sandwich, Luke. I listen at Mazback mm-hmm. Century Hall when I first quit. I listen to me, dog. Here's the crazy thing: when I quit high school, mm-hmm. I quit to go to Mazback Century Hardware. And one day, I was downstairs in the fucking. Uh, I was a warehouseman, and something happened. I go break time, and I go listen. I don't want to take a break. And I go, Joey, you can't do this. You have to go to the break room. And I went to the break room, and I'm sitting there. It's a true story, guys. I'm 17, I'm stupid, but I don't give a fuck. I probably had $2 in my pocket. I go upstairs. I'm sitting there, and I go, what the fuck am I doing up here? And they got like, in those days, they didn't have microwave sodas, yeah, yeah. like that. But there was a, a refrigerator, and there was all these brown lunches, right? Like, And I saw one, and I just took this motherfucker <laughs> out, and I opened it up, and God forbid... <laughs> Good googly moogly. It was that dude's kosher meal. No, oh. it was like a a, a fucking like a, a Philly cheesesteak wrapped like he had bought it at a store. Yeah, so it didn't belong to nobody. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like maybe. <laughs> what do you mean he bought it from a store? Yeah. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't like maybe like on Tuesdays they order from <laughs> from fucking Johnny's. Yeah, and this was the and that, that, this is for everybody. But I got, it's like 10.30, 11 o'clock, I'm up there, and I'm looking, and this is a true story, Josh Wolf, okay, and you know me and you, we go back a long time, I forgot about this one, and all of a sudden, I go up, and I take the thing out, and it's the first thing I take out, it was still even kind of warm, and I fucking take it out, I'm eating this Bible, it's got a you who in there, it was like, it was me, there was a napkin and shit. <laughs> There was a note. Yeah, was, a note from the mom. No, there was like a napkin. And all of a sudden, do you oh know my that God, Joey? I'm sitting there and I finished wiping my hand. And thank God I've always been a gentleman. I wiped the table and I threw the stuff in the garbage and then I wiped it again. <laughs> at that time, I wasn't friends with nobody. Like, I had just been there for maybe three weeks. I didn't know nothing. But I still had another 15 minutes upstairs. So I just went and washed my hands, and, and I went by the window and just looked outside. <laughs> and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I'm looking out this window, Josh, and I hear like three people come in by me. They got nothing to do with me, so I don't look. Right. And they're talking. And I'm, bah, 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 who you got tonight? I got the Steelers, you know. And all of a sudden, I hear, all right, all right, let's do this. I hear it. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Listen to me. And that's when I turn around. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. So he goes, God damn it. Somebody st-. Now, this guy at the now at this time, bro, I'm a little on the crazy side. My mom's been dead two years. <clears throat> I think I want to be a gangster. Yeah. You know? 
But let's face it, I wasn't going up against this. This dude was 5'11", yoked, black, mm. you know, angry, and now somebody took his, his food. fucking food. <laughs> he took the fucking door, and when he slammed it, it just landed in his hand. Now, if, that, if Lee would have slammed the door and it would have landed in his hand, Lee would have just dropped it. Yeah. This guy held the door in his hand. And he's like, who took my motherfucking sandwich? Who the fuck took my sandwich? And I started shitting. I, was yeah. like, I better not have an onion on my teeth and shit. Oh, my God. He fucking slammed the door. He fucking went through all the fucking sandwiches in there. He ran downstairs. Who the fuck took my sandwich? Who the fuck came up here? And I'm right there like 20 minutes. And he looked at me. Who the fuck? You see anybody? I go, no. <laughs> I just got here. I didn't even know what was going on up here. This is the first time I've been up here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know why I'm up here. Yeah, I don't even oh know. What's God, happening God, up here? I ran out of there and I was like, oh, shit. That's where you put your food when you, you know, in those days there was just one freezer. Yeah. You now you go to an office building, they have... But I like how you said it was like a Philly cheesesteak, so it didn't belong to anybody. Yeah, it fucking belonged to somebody, whoever put it in the refrigerator. But I thought, listen. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, He was like, if he, they bought it at a store. So yeah, so I guess it's for everybody. I, <laughs> I thought, you know, since it, if I would have took it out and it would have been in a container, I would have gone, oh, this is Oh, you mean like from, a Tupperware? Yeah, 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 this is from somebody's house. But when I saw it in the thing, I go, mm. you never know. Maybe the people Maybe this deliver, is for everybody. This is for everybody. Yeah. Fuck it. I was hungry in those days. I didn't I ate that sandwich in two bites. It was delicious. And after that we kind of became friends and I would bust his balls about that from time to time. Did you ever tell him it was you? No, but I would like torment them. Psst, come here. Love that shit. I got my eye on up there because somebody took my motherfucking sandwich. I'm telling you, dog. There's a thief in this motherfucker. I know how to give air to those situations. Oh, you love that shit. I love to fan those fires. Yeah. So I got him for a while.